This is 2 Ezra 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and where thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. So we're looking for prophecy, all right? And according to the scriptures, all right, if you've been tuned in in the spirit, there are only two major prophecies left. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushak, Hashem, Kapodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Amen. Okay. This is uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And we have to utilize the scriptures in order to do this. Okay, go ahead. Quickly, Isaiah 13 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And that's what we're doing. Be of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem al Shah. And the banner is what? The scriptures. The high mountain going into the government of America. All right. So at this time frame, we are within the gates of the nobles. All right. And the nobles are who? Your so called high born of the nation of Edom, beginning with the international bankers such as Rothschild. Mm -hmm. Exalt the voice unto them, shake so the hand. So that's what we do. We're exalting our voice and we're shaking the hand. Go ahead. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. And we are inside of the gates of the nobles. Mm -hmm. Right? This word has reached the nobles. All right? So in a nutshell, hey, they are after us. Why? Because we're really that thorn in their flesh. Right. To prevent them from what? Attaining yeah. the new world order. That enterprise. That enterprise, which yeah. is going into what? Their success. Yeah. All right, so back in Second Ezra 9 and 2, mm -hmm. then should thou understand that it's the very same time. And the only way you're going to understand is you have to have the Holy Spirit, yeah. that spiritual assistance. Yeah. Go ahead. Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And he's magnifying himself. He's manifesting himself within what? Prophecies. He is via the prophecies. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13. In verse 14, it says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, mm -hmm. saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by his sword and did live. Mm -hmm. Read that again. Uh, Where are you? Revelation, what now? Uh, 13 and 14. Right. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles right. which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Hey, the, uh, the miracles is actually going into the technology of Esau. The image talking about this system, mm -hmm. which is patterned out the what the pagan Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. His media. His media. You know what I'm saying? What they're doing, they're pushing out his agenda, mm -hmm. going for their NWO. Mm -hmm. Everybody's all in tune. Then then you know they all partakers of the image of the beast. That's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. yep. It says in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So, what kingdom is it, what kingdom is this talking about? This is referring to what the Rome Empire, the pagan Rome Empire. All right, go ahead. Oh. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right now, this is one of the two major prophecies. All right, going into what that um, temptation, the hour, the, temptation. Uh, the hour the of temptation. temptation. All right, so this is one, one of two major prophecies. That's right. Now, basically, the image, like we stated before, is the um, system and worshiping. How do you worship the image? Build your participation. Because your mindset or your belief system leads into your actions, all right, which will lead you to do whatever the so-called white man tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Go right. ahead. And you know, it goes into that the fashion this world is going to pass away. That's right. It right. goes to where fashion it goes into that manner of life. That's right. The, uh, discourse, That's the right. actions. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's right. yep. That particular persona, mm -hmm. the image of this so-called life is, is going to be a distant dream. That's it. Verse 16, it says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, mm -hmm. free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, the word all in the Greek is pas, P-A-S, and that's showing every individual. Further proves that this is going to be a new world order. That's right. You know, it's worldly, you know. <clears throat> no middle class. No middle class. Rich and, po rich and poor, rich small and, poor. and great. That's it. That's what he's doing with this so-called pandemic. He's trying to wipe out the so-called middle class so to be those two spectrums, the lower right. class and the high class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the super elite and the poor. That's it, bro. Uh, this, a precept, Revelation 16 and 2, 
and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshiped his image. Right, so literally people that actually receive his mark, okay, this knockout punch, they're actually going to receive a sword. All right, and that's from a physical, that's from a physical manifestation. And more likely, it's probably cancer, man. A cancerous like sore. Yeah. That's something for him in your body. That's right. That's right. And your body naturally fights it off. That's it. it. And when it, it does, when it's incapable of fighting it off, it, it ends up fighting itself. That's right. And then you die from a grievous wound from internal. That's right. A Revelation uh, 13 and 17, mm -hmm. and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. One of two major prophecies, okay? One of two. So, hey, this is prophecy one. Prophecy with major, how would I title it? Uh, but yeah, just uh, the, the two. Yeah, major. Yeah, major yeah. prophecy. Major prophecy one, yeah. major prophecy, prophecy two, two. the end. The end, my friend. This is the Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11. Um, and 14, mm -hmm. the second woe is passed, right. and behold, WW2. Go ahead. The third woe cometh quickly. WW3. Yeah. All right. And this is the second major prophecy. Now, here, you have to have prophecy one in order to in order to get to prophecy two. All right. You're not going to have prophecy two then prophecy one. No. It has to be the um, the potato chip and then this last major prophecy. All right. That's all I'm about. I had a uh, writer. Go ahead, go ahead. This is from the History Channel. <laughs> and it was uh, updated. December 7, 2018, but it reads, we've been talking about World War III since before Pearl Harbor. Ever since people began to speculate about World War III, it is, its very name has implied its own inevit inevitability. We talk about it not only as something that might happen, but something that will, and it's been on our minds for a very long time. And the reason I just brought that out because this is a prophecy that has been lingering all over the earth, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna come to pass. Mm -hmm. And we're living at that moments or that time when we're fastly approaching it, man. Right. But like we brought the first, first you're gonna get the don't say the uh MOTB. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? From that point on, hey, it's gonna be gathered, they're gonna be gathered in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And World War Three is gonna jump off. And that's it. when your house is gonna be in those spots. That's, that's it. it. Hey, because that's, that's why you, when you read a revelation. When those particular armies that are, are, are fighting one another, mm -hmm. they turn up to the heavens to try to fight the heaven, the, the heavenly Father's only begotten Son and the host of the angels. That's right. right. That's right. And yeah. they said, and a fierce fight. That's right. Yep. Meaning that they repent to God. Yes. And that's um, I think Preacher Kyle would bring it out that 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 that, uh, that speech that Ronald Reagan did, speaking on you know just imagine we had being attacked by uh, uh, outside force. Outside force how we will all come together, That's you know right. what I'm saying? And then they showed that in, um, what's that movie, Will Smith, Independence Day. Right. How, you know what I'm saying? They didn't just show how they were fighting uh, uh, each other, but they show how all the nations come together to fight against what they made like with aliens, but really was, you know what I'm saying, uh, Yahweh Shai coming back with the uh, heavenly host of angels, man. Yeah, also in movie Tom Cruise, War yep. of the World. Yep. Yep. War of the World. So Esau knows, but guess what? Who's giving Esau this grand imagination? Yahweh Shai. Right. He rules right. in the kingdom of men. That's right. That's right. All right. That's right. Isaiah 13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people. And this is going into what? Keep reading. And to much of his noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Right, in the midst of WW3. And like they ought to be always talked about, and they're using what? That nuclear technology, man. All right? It's the same technology that the Mosai used to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Go ahead. The Lord of hosts mustering. Who? The Lord of hosts, the Lord of Sabaoth. Meaning what? He composed it. He rendered it. All right? Go ahead. Muster it, the host of the battle. Right. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. The weapons of his indignation. Indignation means what? Righteous anger. And these weapons are what? Nuclear missiles, man. To destroy the whole land. To destroy the whole land. And that's literal. 
That's literal. So this is the second major prophecy. The first major prophecy, the chip. The second major prophecy, WW3, man. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all. Yeah. I got a quote. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 1. I'll blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in and my whole mountain. That's what we're doing. Be a prophesy. We're blowing the trumpet. Okay? Every time you see a prophet out here preaching, we're blowing the trumpet. Zion, the nation of Israel. All right? And this word is for a hey, one-third and two-third. One-third will be saved. Two-third will be destroyed by the same word. Go ahead. And let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Right. The day of the Lord come. And guess what? Yahusha will return like a thief in the night. He's coming unexpectedly. All right? Revelation 18 17 For in one hour so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company of ships and sailors and as many as trade. So by this great demographic we call America will be destroyed by the most highest nuclear technology. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And as many as trade by sea stood afar off wow. and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning. And that goes to show you that this so called system will still be functioning. Because they're still making money from this system, all right, through making trade with America. Mm -hmm. The scripture say two will be glad and one will be taken up. That's right, bro. It says, uh, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? Uh -huh. This is going into that second major prophecy. All right, bro. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. The ten horns uh, is what? A reflection of the EU. And they added more countries to offset prophecy. These shall hate the whore. Right, these shall hate the whore. The whore is America. Go ahead. And shall make her desolate and naked. And, sh and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. With fire, nuclear technology. All right, so people, brothers, Akim, we only have two major prophecies. Lord will you edify all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushat, by Hashem, Kakudash. Of honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.